In this lesson, we will learn about how to navigate through the viewports. For the beginners it is the most frustrating thing in 3D Studio Max. By default, there are four number of views, which are top, front, left and perspective. But this layout can be changed. And from different viewports, we can see that the object, which is teapot from different angles. The top, front and left view show the object in two dimension. And the perspective view shows the object in three dimensions. You can work in only one viewport, at a time. The viewport, with the orange border shows that this viewport is currently active. As you can see, perspective view is currently active. While using 3D Studio Max, I will prefer that you use 3-button mouse. Because 3-button mouse is required in order to easily navigate through the viewports. You can activate other viewports, by clicking on the desired viewport. You can activate it through left, right, or middle click. But I will prefer to use right click to select the viewport. Because left click is for selection and middle is for panning. Now let's try to activate the viewports, one by one through right click. Let's first select the front view through right click. Notice that the orange border comes around the front view. Now select the top view. And then the left view. You can change the size of the viewport by positioning the cursor over the intersection of all viewports and then drag the cursor. In order to reset the viewport, simply right click on the intersection and then click on Reset Layout. Every viewport has its own controls on the upper left hand corner, more options can be accessed by clicking on the specific control. Now let's try this by clicking on these controls. You can also use the predefined set of viewport layouts from the 3D Studio Max configuration. Let's see how to access these layouts. Click on the plus sign, and then on Configure, and then click on Layout tab. You can also change how the object is shown in the viewport. You can view it as smooth plus highlights, hidden, wireframe, or edged faces. To better understand, I will show you how to change the object view type. You can also change these views through shortcut keys. For shaded mode, press F3 key. And to toggle between shaded and wireframe, press F4 key. This can be done in all views. Oh man! This takes a lot of time. Means merging my voice with this tutorial takes a lot of time. So from now, the original creator of this tutorial will explain you. See you some next time. Bye bye! Hi, my name is Mudassar Ahmad and yes it's true that from now I will teach you. You can also change the view of the specific viewport in a couple of different ways. For example if you want to change the perspective view from perspective to top view simply go and click on perspective and then select the specific view. For, for this instance we will select top and you can also change it to bottom view and front view and so on notice that there are some shortcut keys such as for top it's T for bottom it's B and for front it's F and for left it's L and for perspective it's P now I will teach you how to zoom in and out in the view simply click this magnifying glass and then click on the view and while holding your click simply drag the mouse up for zoom in 
and drag the mouse down for zoom out. You can also perform the same task by moving your mouse scroller up for zoom in and moving your scroll scroller uh, down for zoom out. If you want to zoom in and out in the four views at the same time then you can use the zoom all button. Just simply select this tool and then uh, click on one of the views and then simply drag the mouse up and down. Notice that when I zoom in all the views are zooming in and when I zoom out all the views are zooming out at the same time. Now I will tell you about the zoom extents. For instance, if our view is zoomed out very much and we cannot see the whole object, then we will use the Z zoom extents button. Here it is. Just click on this zoom extent button and it will center the object. Simply do this for all the views. You can also use the shortcut key which is the letter Z. Just press the letter Z and it will zoom extent it all the views you can also do the panning in the viewports just like this in order to do the panning simply select this hand tool which is called as pan view and then select it and then click in the viewport and then move the mouse you can also use a shortcut for panning simply click the middle mouse button and then view and then move this you can also do this in all the views. Simply click the middle mouse button and then move the mouse in order to do panning. Now I will tell you about the rotation that how to rotate in the view. You can rotate it simply by selecting this ring and then moving it. Or you can do the rotation by selecting this orbit and then clicking in middle of this circle. And you can do rotation in y axis by selecting this and in x axis by selecting this and if you want to rotate freely then simply click on the center of the ring and then do the rotation and there is a shortcut key in order to do the rotation simply just hold the alt key and then hold the middle mouse button and then rotate the mouse you can also zoom in the specific area which you want. Simply select this zoom region button and then uh, activate the viewport in which you want to zoom in. For this instant we will act select the left viewport and then select the area which you want to zoom in. If you want to further zoom in do the same. It will just keep on zooming in. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we will learn about right click options.